E M H Z spoon spoon the wooden spoon. I just got through watching Brian's video, Brian and Bailey's zoo or what does he call it now? I can't remember. We're gonna call it that. He changes uh, channels quite a bit. He was talking about uh, the wooden spoons and that they're really only good for beating children. Um, and yesterday I mentioned that my mom used to keep one on the table and would whack us. I don't remember that as clearly as my mom does. I saw we must have been younger because at some point the spoon went away completely. I think it was kind of replaced with the belt. Which at some point uh, my dad broke the buckle off on my sister and it just was this leather strap. And I, I've talked about that before. It was like a two inch leather belt uh, that traveled with us. It went everywhere with us. It sat in the front seat. So whenever there was disruption in the back seat. It actually didn't make that noise. Um, but it got me thinking about all the uh, tools that were used in uh, spanking us when we were kids. Uh, the belt was by far the one that, that lasted the longest. But there were, there was one that my, my step-grandfather used um, on a regular basis. And I think my dad only used it once or twice. And I think the only reason he used it is because it was just, it was close. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the, um, those Matchbox racetracks with the, uh, the little orange, I think they were orange, or yellow, tracks. And they were kind of a, they were a rubber, and, and they were kind of flimsy. I mean, they wouldn't, you know, if you held it up, it would flip over. and So it had a lot of give. And um, those hurt a lot. My step-granddad used to keep it uh, next to his chair. And uh, I remember one day, I guess it was early awareness. I'm not sure because I don't, I don't, I remember going and playing with it because it was a racetrack. And those were maybe, what, two and a half feet, two feet strips. Um, but when you would swing that, you could hear it in the wind. You know, um, and I was playing with it and he got mad because that, that wasn't a toy. That was a that was a tool. I'm not going into way too much detail about that, but suffice it to say, it hurt a lot. We did get the switch every once in a while, but that was pretty rare. That was when the belt wasn't around, and we I remember once we were driving somewhere, and I don't know where the belt was. It was either packed or somehow it was not, it was not in the front seat. And my, my brother was acting up. And he, he pulled over, we were, I don't even remember where we were driving, some vacation, I think, I don't know, maybe to my grandparents. He pulls over and makes my brother go get a switch, you know, a, a, a little small branch off of a, a, a tree. And uh, yeah, th those aren't good either. But yeah, we all have a little smart ass in us. And um, you gotta know, you gotta know when to use it. You really, you really do. It's, it's a skill. And smart assness in the wrong hands is, it's a dangerous thing. Example being my brother. My dad said, go get a switch. He comes back with a little stick about that big. Well, that did not amuse my dad at all. So, you know, in addition to the infraction that he's being, you know, punished for whatever that was uh he also got punished for being a smart ass and getting a little stick or a twig i never liked getting spankings i never thought that they did any good they certainly um they didn't prevent us from acting up they just made us afraid of our dad uh in that regard but it just it wasn't a good tool for punishment it just uh, you know, 
I, I could go off on this whole thing about it, but it it and years later, my brother and I were talking about it. So it would never it never made us act better. Um. So it it just wasn't a very effective means of punishment, and yet it was used continually, and to the frustration of my dad, I think because. He couldn't understand why we weren't, you know, behaving ourselves. Well, it's just that's just not a good, a good means, and it never did work. So, I'm not, I'm not one for hitting kids or or animals for that matter. I don't, I've never spanked my pets. I will get up all in their grill if they're bad, but I won't spank them. I just don't think that that is. Um, I don't think it's good. I don't. I don't think that you need to. You know, when you raise your hand for something, that they would do that. I think that's bad. And uh, you know, kids can do that. Animals can do that. It's just not. It's just not a good. A good thing. And I'm not going to get all into that because it's Saturday, and Saturdays are fun days. Fun, fun, fun days because they're Saturday. My advice to you, advice for Saturday, is don't go to the grocery store hungry. And I think everyone knows that, but. This is what you buy when you're hungry at the grocery store. Seriously. I rarely ever eat them, but when I do, I, I really eat them. All right, I'm gonna get to work. I'll watch some videos. I may be back depending on the videos.